Morning. Dwayne here, Dry Creek Ranger School. Gonna make another video this morning simply on saddling Biscuit. Biscuit's mama's new horse. He's a good quiet horse, but he's been, has the habit where he moves around like that to put, when you go to put the saddle on, he don't like it. Now there's two ways we can do this. Um, to start out with, I would put him in a round pen with no halt or anything. And then I'd go to set the deal on him. And then when he moved, I'd make him quit moving. That's the better way. But what I'm working with him now is just getting him to go slow and easy and to take it. Sometimes they get used to being startled and slammed and everything. If you just back up and go easy, hey buddy, then they're all right. Ooh. We wonder why our horses are jumpy when we go to cinch them, jerk their head up when we go to put bits in their mouths, move around when we go to throw the saddle on. A lot of times, because we do everything in a jerky, jumpy fashion, and we don't give them time to get it in their head what we're doing. Come here, son. Move up, square up, okay? So we're just gonna work slow and easy with him. Now I've saddled him before. He's not gonna pull back. I'm not worried about that. Oh, son. Normally what he does, whoa. See, I see him move. When he tense up, I just slow down. Whoa. Whoa. He took one step. Now is that one step acceptable? No, it is not. In a perfect finished horse. But he's not a perfect finished horse. And the thing we always gotta keep in mind when you're working with a horse, what you just got, is it better than what you had last time and the time before that? If it is, build on that. He took one step, and usually that's the end of it. He'll take a step, once you get the saddle on him, he's done. I didn't get that sense down. So I guess the main takeaway that I wanted to give here is slow down, easy. What, there, there's that old movie, that old Tom Selleck movie that had Wilford Brimley in it, that Western. And uh, Wilford Brimley kept telling the young man in that Western, slow down, pup. You'll have a more harmonious outcome. And that's what we want with our horses, a more harmonious outcome. But harmony is two things that are in tandem together. They're harmonizing together. And we expect our horse to harmonize with us, but we don't harmonize with our horse. Slow down, take your time, be easy, and be in harmony. And uh, you'll have a more harmonious outcome. Now, Biscuit decided he wasn't going to throw a fit, and Biscuit being Biscuit, Decides if he's not going through a fit, he just wants to go back to sleep. So there he is. He's gone back to sleep. This yonker believes in, uh, how do you put it, economy of movement. All right? So another thing that's going to help when we're saddling, we go easy with the blanket, let him get used to the idea. He's not a young bronchy horse. He just kind of got this little thing. If I get the saddle on, I got to go to work. If I don't have a saddle, I don't have to go to work. So he got to where he was kind of saying, I, I don't want the saddle on. Wasn't mean about it, just didn't want it. So we just slow down and he'll figure out, and he's figuring out that uh, the only one that's disturbing his harmony is him. The only one disturbing his calm is him. He's going to get the saddle. Regardless of how much fuss he makes, he's going to get the saddle. So I just take away as much energy, as much drive, as much slam, got to get her done, as I put into it, and then he comes down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cinch him up easy. Now I'm going to cut him in half, just going to cinch him up easy. Come in here, and then I've got the cinch tight enough. We could probably ride it right now, uh, but it's going to loosen up here shortly. But I got the cinch tight enough that the saddle isn't going to roll. 
And then we're just going to go on about our business. We're going to keep moving on. We're going to wind up moving him down out of the way and put the head stall on him and then slowly pull the cinch back up. And we're just going to keep everything as quiet as we can. Don't start none. Won't be none. And slow down. You'll have a more harmonious outcome. So this is Dwayne from Dry Creek Wrangler School. Um, I hope you like it. Uh, click like if you do, and uh, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that subscriber button. Maybe you want to go check us out on Patreon and help support the channel. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time.